Deschutes, Bend, Oregon, Black Butte Porter. That's got a bold taste. Hey guys, my name is Justin. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the giant liquidation sales event going on at Harbor Freight from now all the way until October 31st. We're going to see what they got in here for not only the Icon Tool lineup, if they're going to give us individual prices on all the stuff, if how many pages they're going to cover, if they're going to give us pricing on everything that's been talked about online so far. We're also going to be looking at a lot of woodworking tools, things that I've been looking at lately, table saws, the miter saw that I just bought. We're going to see if I got a good deal or a bad deal. We're going to take some of your guys' comments into consideration. We're going to see things in here that you might have that I have no experience with. This is where I need your help. I'd like your comments down below on anything in this catalog that we cover today. I want to know your opinion. I want to know what you feel or how you feel about it, how long you had it, if it's worth buying, would you buy it again, or what product you decided to go to if you have bad luck with it. That's what I want to know from you guys during this video. With that being said, let's dive on into this catalog. We'll flip through about half of it and cover some of the more important things in this catalog that I've seen this month. Let's do this! All right, so that was all in good fun. Any rate, let's dive on into it. So someone wanted me to show more in-depth, more close-ups of the actual catalog itself instead of looking at my ugly mug. So that's what we're doing today. $199.99 US Gen 2 in seven different colors. That's the sale going on right now. Good till October 31st. And what a phenomenal cart. Lots of people actually love this cart, to include myself couple features on it that I didn't care for. Don't know if they've actually changed your upgrade since the Gen 1. One of the features I noticed was the pry bars, like Snap-on pry bars, Matco pry bars. Basically, anyone's pry bars except for Harbor Freight uh, would not allow you to close the lid. So hopefully they made that upgrade and change on the actual depth of that. Moving on to some of the other catalog highlights for today. Heavy-duty 3-ton steel floor jack. $89.99, three ton. There's the coupon code. You can look it up, I'm sure. Uh, check that out if you haven't already gotten yourself a decent jack. Uh, we've talked about this, like the tool sets that they sell down here. Uh, in some cases, you really do get what you pay for. In my personal opinion, um, this might be okay for the DIY or even your step kid who doesn't have a tool set just starting out for 30 bucks. Uh, but for some of us that are either DIY weekend warrior mechanics, at-home hobbyists, or professionals, this is not going to be the quality of socket you're looking for. Uh, let's look at this 3,500 watt super quiet inverter generator. So if you're looking for one of those, they're hashing the price down a little bit, about $110, really, $689.99. So if you need one, uh, Predator, you know, check that out. Let, leave your comments below if you already own one and have experience behind it. Let's check out some of the other hot tool deals for the month going into October. Rapid one and a half ton lightweight aluminum floor jack, $59.99. Now I know you guys probably can't see it too, too well, but I actually have the two ton aluminum floor jack right over there and it still has been kicking butt for me. But if you don't need the two ton and you need a lighter weight one or you don't want to spend the extra money, 60 bucks, not a bad buy. All right, we're gonna look down over here at the Earthquake uh, half inch impacts. They got the regular here and they got the one with the extended anvil. 4.7 pounds for the one, 4.4 for the other. So you add a little bit of weight to it, getting the extended anvil, which is to be expected. 119.99, your choice. All right, now we'll take a look up here at this 10 amp deep cut variable speed bandsaw kit made by Bauer. Saw the Den of Tools using one of these actually. Kind of got my attention. Thought maybe it looked like a handy tool. You guys will have to let me know if you have any experience behind it. But $89.99, that actually might come in handy, especially for my welding guys out there. If you haven't seen this video, I'll throw the card up here for you. TV mounts. So if your kids got a bedroom, you know, you want to get rid of the uh, dresser or the table in there, you can get a TV mount over there, $39.99. Not sure what it's uh, capable or range is. 
Let's see here, close up shot, 12 inch teal, 18 inch extension. So 45 degree swivel, two degree tilt back. Supports up to 130 pounds. All right, moving on over here to the step ladders and step stools. What a heck of a deal right here. $19.99, your choice. These things come in handy, especially if you're working on trucks and either you're relatively short or there's a lift kit. Supports up to 350 pounds. I think those typically go for about 40 bucks on the tool truck, if I'm not mistaken. So what a steal for 20 bucks. And if the missus needs help getting to that upper cabinet, they got a two-step stool for her too. Don't know much about the uh, solar panels. You guys have to let me know about those. I don't know what their range is or how good they are. Three-in-one convertible hand truck. So if you need a dolly, this might actually be really handy if you're a mover or you move a lot or changing apartments you know sometimes it just comes in handy if you want to take stuff in and out of storage but that's pretty cool actually 99.99 you guys will have to let me know if that is a value or not let's scroll on up here to the 44 inch 22 double bank gen 2 toolbox lots of people out there love them 449.99 Looking over here at the Bauer 20 volt lithium ion compact driver kits, quarter inch, half inch drill driver, $59.99. Hell of a deal if you ask me, if you're looking for one. Let's look at the welders that they got going on here. So we got the Flux Core 125 and Easy Flux 125. Your choice, $80 difference. And guys, if it was up to me, now I have had the 90 amp Chicago Electric. Had it for over four years. Phenomenal little flux core welder. I'll put a card up here for you guys to check out that review. Um, then I upgraded to the MIG 170 by Titanium. Been loving that thing ever since. But guys, for 80 bucks, I'm gonna tell you, you might wanna just go ahead and jump on over to the Easy Flux. You're gonna thank me later. Nice little uh, improvement as, for, as far as I'm concerned. I think they did a very good job as far as the quality. Looking at air compressors, now you guys know that I've got this GM 22 gallon, three horsepower. When it comes to air tools, not the best in the entire world. When it comes to nailers that are air tools, actually pretty decent. Filling up tires, pretty decent. So I've been looking at other ones here, but let's take a look and see what they got going on. 20 gallon oil air compressor, 175. 21 gallon oil lube air compressor, 170. Five extra bucks. Heard a lot of people say they like the McGraw. Let's see what one extra gallon, there's a big jump in price, but what is the uh, specs here? So 135 PSI, 175 PSI, so a bigger range there. Two times the life, 25% choir, 27%, 143% more runtime. So for the price difference there, yeah, I'd probably pay the additional 50 bucks or whatever just to jump it up to this if that be the case. So. I'm saying if, if you're looking for something like I got, I, I think I might have rather gone this route. I think I paid 240 or 250 for that one. All right, let's move on to the next page, checking it out. 72 inch by 22 coupon, $1,000 US Gen triple bank toolbox. Daytona, now I've got the four ton jack, been loving it, but if you want the three ton rapid professional pump steel floor jack, $189.99. Now, 99 cents for their magnetic trays. Guys, go scoop you up like 10 or 20 of those. I'm telling you, you're going to love to have them for organization. I don't have any interest in the uh, multi-tool for the moment. Let's talk about the cherry picker. 150, one ton capacity, foldable shop crane, 150 bucks. Not sure what I paid for mine, but I do believe it's a two ton or two and a half ton. Let's see. So mine is a two-ton, and this is a Duralast engine hoist or cherry picker. All right, back on track to the catalog. 48-inch by 96 heavy-duty folding trailer. Don't know how heavy-duty, but 250 bucks. Looks like it's an easy stow-and-go. If you have a motorcycle that you just want to take to and from the shop, you can. If you're making small little camping loads, you can actually put some... You know, wood, OSB down on here. You can build the rails up. If you have one of those welders that we saw earlier in the catalog, you can get yourself some square tubing or some 90 degree angle iron and grind it down, weld up. 
make a box trailer. This is a nice little platform to start off with for the price. I think I paid 400 for mine. And I think I'm about due for a, a new trailer, to be honest. Possibly something a little more heavier duty. But this is uh, actually a pretty steal of a deal, uh, if you ask me. Because you can actually build up on it. And you can do the improvements yourself the way that you see fit. Hell of a deal. All right, let's talk about this 800-pound low-profile transmission jack. 130 bucks. Killer freaking deal. I've actually got one down here. Is it the same exact one? Let's take a look. Yes, it is the 800 pound transmission floor jack. Use that intermittently here at the house. When it comes to removing fuel pumps, when it comes to removing transmissions, can't beat it for the price. I didn't have this coupon code at that point in time. I think I actually did pay the 170 for it. Air hose reel, so if you wanted to mount one to your wall and run a cord out to the thing, to your air compressor, that would be pretty cool. You don't have to worry about rolling it up and hanging it over the air compressor like I got, so that's awesome. I might consider getting one of those. I don't know if that's a fair price or not. To me, Harbor Freight's usually pretty fair about this kind of pricing stuff. I may consider picking one up like that. Let's look at the Hercules uh, grinder. So my dad actually has this Hercules 4.5 inch angle grinder. And, whoa, he said he loves it. The balance, the speed, the grip, the paddle, all of it is phenomenal. In his opinion, he's been using it. He hasn't had any problems with it smoking, overheating, or running hot. It just keeps kicking buck. He said he would definitely compare it to some of the other ones he has. Now, he has DeWalt. He's got Mil Milwaukee. He has Makita. And he has the Hercules. He does a lot of grinding, if you can't already tell. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on over here. So we have a... Universal Aluminum Mobile Miter Saw Stand. So I don't know how uh, beneficial it would be to have something like that. But kind of cool, I guess, that they have it. I don't have any interest in that. I've got a workbench here at the house that I'm able to set it on. So that works out for me. All right, let's scroll on down see what else we got going on here. 37-piece, 3 8 and half-inch drive impact socket set with case. 20 bucks. Dang. Now, granted, those are all shallows, but if even if you have a couple that are beat up, worn out, or you lost them, what a pickup. What a pickup. All right, so you're doing a lot of sanding. You might want to go down there and grab up some of these sanding discs, $1.99. In fact, I've got a lot of the uh, cutoff wheels that I like to grab in bulk from time to time. And those seem to hold up really well for me, to be honest, so I think the sanding discs would be a hell of a pickup. Unless you need different different course grip, but let's see what they have. 36, 60, 120. Pretty good grit options for two bucks. Folding knife. Uh, you know what? I don't use a folding knife too, too much, but hey, not a bad pickup for four dollars. They got these clamps here. Now your wife's gonna thank you for clamps like this. 69 cents. That's freaking awesome. Here's the cutoff wheels that I already previously kind of showed and explained. Now here's a pack here, 79 cents. Dang, that's a freaking good deal. See, I got that whole pack up here. Now they're not individualized, but I got that whole pack up there. Those are my backups till I run out of the other ones. But hey, smoking deal, smoking deal. All right, let's take a look here. Six inch quick release bar clamp, 219. Bungees, those always come in handy, 289. Hatchet, 25% off. I don't care about those. Let's see here. 100 piece security bit set, $6.99. These are just kind of cool. Solar rope lights. So if you wanted to mark out the front of your patio, nine bucks. Here's the titanium drill bits that my wife has, $13.99. She was complaining because I broke two of hers. You know what, for 14 bucks, I think I'll go pick her up another box. But here, just to show you that I'm not full of it. We use these a lot here at the house. Let me open this up, especially the smaller ones, if you can't already tell by the drywall. And then of course you can see I tried to replace one for her, but I did break a couple. So <laughs> whatever, rock and roll, 14 bucks. I'll get her a new set. All right, talking about their welding hoods, $129.99. Now I've got my Matco welding hood up here that's held up really, really well over the years, but my grandmother gave me a welding hood a while back. She bought it for me. And this is the old original Chicago electric welding hood that I've had for 10 years going. Painted the designs on it myself. Love that thing. 
the sticker even held up. So, just to give you an idea, I think we paid 50 bucks for that original one. This is the Vulcan lineup, upgraded option, $129.99. Also, auto darkening. So, might be something to that. You might want to check that out. Let's take a look at their 20-ton shop press. You guys know we have this at work. $144.99. Smoking deal, pick it up. I think we actually paid full full price on that at one point in time. Not all these things are always on sale. You guys are going to want to grab some of this stuff up. All right, let's flip through over here. Let's see. Franklin's got a stand. So $39.99 for the same exact stand that I actually have here in the back. This one was made by Gorilla I bought from Home Depot. And that cost me a fraction more. So you might consider picking up this Franklin stand. I know the Denna Tools has one of these. He likes it. Portable clamping workstation. You guys know I just got this Pegasus one that I've been enjoying so far. I didn't have a need for this style. I wanted something I could put wood on. All right, let's check out some of their floodlights here. So here's a little one that you just, let's see. Lumen rechargeable work light battery bank, 25 bucks. I paid 25 bucks for this Craftsman one that is not rechargeable. And I got to replace the batteries in it, double A. It don't last forever, so it's kind of nice to be able to have something that recharges. I'm saying a hell of a deal at 25 bucks, all things considering. Hercules drill bits don't know what the extra added benefit behind them are, but 25 bucks for a set. Here's a set, uh, 17 piece black oxide set. That's gonna be more for plastic. 20 volt lithium ion recip saw with LED light, 85 bucks. Looks like it comes with battery and charger. 3000 SPM motor. There's a leaf blower, 55 bucks. I'm not, you know, it's nice to have a leaf blower, I guess, that's battery charged or they can run off a battery, especially if you're a roofer. For me, I've always used my Echo that has gas and I've been loving that. Whether I do the mix myself or pick up the quick mix if I'm on the fly. Uh, let's see, moving on. There's a Fortress air compressor, 27 gallon, $399. 27 gallon nice 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 let's look at this closer 200 psi 150 percent more runtime soft start motor and maintenance free i'm telling you guys i think denna tools kind of turned me on to this one he did a review on one a while back i may very well end up picking one of those up here in the next coming months so as an upgrade to the one that i've got Here's those wire spools. So we got some here. Here's one. That's what I'm talking about. 80 bucks. <clears throat> to be honest, there's a few here. Better than Diablo. Best is Earthquake. I'm probably going here. For an at-home, I'm probably jumping over to this one. And here's your different air hoses. Here's one that you can just roll up. So that's actually, that's a manual reel. 20 bucks. Huh. Or is it this one? Is it 56? Hmm. Worth looking at for sure. Here's another one, 21 gallon at 90 PSI. See, I'm, I'm all over that 200 PSI. That was good. All right, let's see. Uh, paint guns now. Oh, here we go. There's a blow gun, $4 in case you need one. Air tools. Tons of air tools, to, options to choose from. Um... We've seen, we've seen some other air tools that are probably equal or better. I've been asked a lot about this Chief. Looks like Chief's coming out with some new products. I might be halfway interested in trying out some of the Chief products just to see how I overall feel about it. Body saw, 50 bucks. Variable speed reversible drill, 80 bucks. Three inch high speed reversible cutoff wheel, 70. There's a long reach, four inch high speed extended reach, 140. Hydraulic Riveter, 150. Grinder, 99.99. Extended Die Grinder, 50 bucks. That might be worthwhile in getting. I might look into that one, actually. Quarter inch Die Grinder, 40 bucks. So, I don't know. If you guys have been using Chief, let me know. Here's those bundle packs. So, we saw they were $67 a piece or $6 for a big pack like I got. Safety glasses, man. Look at that, $199. Get it, get it. Oh, respirator, $16.99. Now, I did go with 3M for my respirator that I got from the Home Depot. But if I would have known better, 
or knew that this was a hell of a deal, I would have grabbed that. I think I paid 30 or 40 bucks for mine. Not sure what the quality difference is, uh, but I went with 3M first, honestly. All right, so diving on into some more Earthquake stuff here. You guys know I have the half inch uh, Earthquake XT, $109.99. I actually did get that for that price when I originally bought it. I think it's been a couple years now of using it. Love it, gets down into some tight spots, especially if you're trying to hit those uh, harmonic balance pulley bolts. Yeah, man, crankshaft bolt, it's good to go. Good to go. Don't know about some of the other Air Tools. Air Tools has kind of been phased out by the cordless stuff, but they do have some cordless options here for you. 170, 270, 280, depending on if you want the three quarter inch, big dog they got, the half inch, uh, extreme torque impact, or the three eighths. So boom, 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 three eighths, half inch, three quarter inch. And then of course they got the uh, cordless grinder itself. Um, you're gonna be, if you're grinding for any period of time, you're gonna burn up some juice in a battery. So again, that'd be one of those tools that I'd probably go corded on. Uh, but if you guys have had good luck or extended time, you tell me. But overall, I'm saying if, if you're going to be using the grinder, if you're going to be using it for an extended period of time, you might as well go corded in that in that regards. All right, looking at some of the Hercules stuff, you know, they got a nice little lineup here. The Den of Tools has already covered a lot of this stuff. So we're just going to kind of briefly skim over it. You can see the prices here for yourself. Bauer, you know the um, client graphics has talked a lot about the Bauer lineup and what his thoughts and opinions are. Again, I'll just kind of scroll over the top of the prices. You guys can look and decide for yourself. Let's see. We're going to be scrolling through the next page, see if anything catches the eye like these stepper bits. So... Today we needed a bigger size stepper bit. We finally found one. Don't know who made it, but they have them here. Look, Warrior, good. Bauer, better. Hercules, best. I might consider getting them Hercules ones because we're only down to one big dog stepper bit, and those do come in handy in the automotive world. Multi-tool, don't have an immediate use for that. Grinders, you guys know I was looking at the Delta. Let's see if there's any benchtop grinders that can replace my old trusty and busted up Ryobi. This thing has seen better days. I beat the heck out of it and dropped it. But let's see if there's anything worthwhile and possibly picking up at a later date here. Uh, Central Machinery, 35. This one just said probably Central Machinery, 240. Uh, here's one with a light, 42.99. 99 49.99. And then 8-inch gooseneck with lamp, 55. Uh, you guys let me know what your thoughts are on the benchtop grinders. I haven't used one of theirs per se. Uh, and then we got some vices here. I'll just kind of pan over so you guys can see that. Let's go ahead and flip to the next page. Okay, so now we're getting into the miter saws. Did I get a smoking deal on my Hitachi or not? Let's find out what Harbor Freight had. Okay, so I paid $99.99 for mine. Chicago Electric, which I heard is not so good, but looks like the ratings are good. $95. Here's the Chicago Electric. $189.99. Admiral, $199.99. Hercules, $350. Guys. I'm just gonna say I think I scored 99 bucks. I'll take that all day long, especially for a tool that I'm gonna be using intermittently. Let's take a look at some of their table saws, which you guys know I've been looking for, but I want more of a cabinet style size table saw, not a job site one. But my dad said this job site one from Hercules. Brief interruption, sorry about that. But I was talking to my dad and he did say that he has seen this, used this, touched this, felt this, his buddy bought it and it's been awesome. I'll throw a card up here to that video for 300 bucks, a steal of a deal, says my dad. And you know what? If he says it's good, then it's gotta be good, to be honest. He's lived much longer than I have and he's dealt with these tools a lot more than I have. He knows what it is that he's looking for. I myself am still perusing. All I know is that he did make it very clear 
This is not meant for cabinetry. This is a job side table saw. So that being said, it is not on the top of my list right now. All right, so looking over here, what are some other ones they got going on? Here's some tile saws, it looks like. Some belt sanders. Are you guys interested in the drill presses? I have a drill press that my dad gave me, actually. Not sure who exactly made it, but seems to do the job, and it holds up pretty well. Finding a chuck was a pain in the butt, and I ended up making one. But look, some of these are going to be tabletop ones. $69.99, $139.99, well, you guys can see it. Once you start getting over here, I think this is the ones that are floor mounted. Yep, these are the tall ones that stand up like mine. These are the bench top ones. So if you want something small, that's the side you need to look at. You want something for the floor that stands up like this one. Then this is the side to look at. All right, let's scroll on down. Jigsaws. I just don't know about this Chicago Electric. I'm still looking at possibly Bosch. And then this one's made by Drill Master, which I've also heard not so good things about. Let's see here. Wood lathe. Oh, that could be kind of cool if you want to make bowls or something like that. Bench top router table with one and three quarter horsepower router. Oh, that's kind of cool. 115. And then there's some of their routers that they have right now. Which actually I've been looking at uh, routers, and I think I was also looking at the DeWalt. Not sure who makes this one, this one, or this one. This is Chicago Electric. I'm not sure who this one is. Let's see here. Here's a little uh, variable s scroll saw. So a smaller version of the one that my dad has. Brad Nailers. Let's see if I scored on my Matabo Brad Nailer that I picked up the other day for $68.97 or $69, bucks basically. Let's take a look. Chicago pneumatic 18-gauge. Brad Nailer. This is a Nailer stapler. 25 bucks. Okay, so that would have been the cheaper option. I can't beat 25 unless it doesn't work very good, in which case it'll be beaten all day long. Here's one by Banks. 18 gauge quarter inch air stapler. Okay, we're looking for 18 gauge Brad Nailer. 35. This one is by uh, Banks. Haven't tried them, that's 35 bucks. Let's jump over here to Pierce, who I was told was a really good brand. 18 gauge Brad Nailer, 60 bucks. So I spent $9 more than the best one at Harbor Freight for their Hitachi Matabo. So we'll find out how well that held up. It's 25% off coupon for fasteners. So if you're looking for fasteners, go grab some up, man. Go grab some up. All right, my roofing coil neighbor, I got that nailer from Rigid. I think that was a 190 on the open box special, 15 degree coil roofing nailer. Here's the DeWalt, 250, that comes pretty close. There, Banks, $99. Again, don't know much about Banks. I know my Rigid, I ran with the Rigid. All right, anything over here, we got some sanders. So I do have a Ryobi orbital sander down in there. I've used it a couple times. I like it. Let's see how much theirs are. Um, for the Bauer, we're looking at 26 bucks. And then, yeah, Drill Master. All right. Well, that was kind of short lived. <laughs> Let's see here. Sawzaws. That's all Chicago Electric. We can skip past that. We don't need to go through all the hand tools and things. We've done that in previous videos. We were more interested in the woodworking and some of the automotive tool lineups. So we're going to fast pace through some of the stuff that you guys have probably already seen once upon a time ago and see if we can't get to some goodies like this. Here are the welders. All right. Chicago Electric, $125. That's uh, $119.99. Easy Flux, $125. $199.99. But if you guys remember previously, way back here in the beginning, there was a sick coupon for that same exact welder. You know what, I can't find it. Just scroll back through the beginning of the video, you'll see that sick coupon. Uh, all right, let's see here. 200 and limited, this kind of had my attention, check it out. So we got 200 amp, 15%, 240, output range 30 amp, 200 amp, inverter technology, better for arc start, lightweight, 24 pounds, MIG, flux core, TIG, stick. Dual technology, 120 or 240, includes 
180 amp MIG gun, and 150 a TIG torch. So you get the entire package here for 700 bucks. Scrolling on down to the one that your boys got. Titanium MIG 170 coming in at 449. Duty cycle 160, output 30 amp to 170 amp. Inverter technology for better arc start and total of 24 pounds. 24 pounds, same weight, only more, right? There's more stuff with this one. So there you go, there's the price differences there. Huge savings on this one. Like I said, I've had mine, I've got it connected to the gas. I'm loving it so far. I haven't had any issues with it, but I use it again intermittently. So it's not an everyday use tool. I need to get back on the projects. Looking at Vulcan, what do we got going on here? There's the Omnipro 220 for 950. Mig Max 215 for 750. Mig Max 140 for 650. Pro TIG 165 for 650. Commander 225 for 449. Now let's look at their hottest welding hood deal of the day at 4499. There's the your boy's old original upgraded version 4499. So if you want some sick graphics, you can totally do so. And then there's some of the other welding hood options for you. $149.99 for the Vulcan. All right, look at this welding cabinet that they have here made by Vulcan. So you got two tanks. Looks like it supports three different styles of welders here. Soon to be plasma cutter. You could put a plasma cutter there and a couple of welders. Whatever you want to do. This is a phenomenal welding cart though. Drawers, everything, open cabinet, places for all of your consumables. Freaking awesome at $319.99. Now this is the cart that I have here that my welding cart is currently sitting on, 40 bucks. Not a bad option if you don't wanna spend big daddy dollars or you don't only have the one welder like myself. Here's another one with some few other upgrades and options like drawers, 170. Here's their uh, premium wire. $19.99 and then of course if you wanted to you know get different guns or something happened to yours you can do that too there's some brushes for five bucks fiberglass welding blanket 45 bucks yeah man yeah all right scrolling on over to the abrasive chop saws now the one that i've got is a milwaukee chop saw like I said, it doesn't go at an angle but for straight cuts it's actually pretty dang good i think i paid over 200 for this Drill Master, I don't know that I would go with them. Chicago Electric, again, I'm not too entirely sure either. Uh, I really, I think I, I did the best thing I possibly could do and spent a little bit more without having to worry about it again down the road. So I'm happy with my selection there. All right, let's see here. Uh, parts washer, yeah, they can come in handy. I would never bought one. I thought about it, sandblasters or bee blasters. I had, again, some I thought about but never really dove onto. It's not a huge thing for me. We've talked about their angle grinders before. Uh, we've talked about the dolly that they had that was on sale and promo. We've talked about the step stools and ladders. Tarps all day long. Good pricing on tarps. Okay, getting over to the icon, the stuff that I'm sure you guys have been wanting to know about for the September fall release. Okay, tool truck quality, unbeatable prices. Let's take a look at it. So, what we have here is a few different versions of the ratchet starting at $27.99. was kind of hoping they would have put individual prices behind each one. Doesn't appear so. But they start at $27.99. My guess is that's going to be for the quarter inch fixed head. Socket set starting again at $25. Not sure which sets those would include, but we got quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch drive. You guys know about the torque wrenches that they have. Again, starting at $89.99, three eighths, and then the half inch. You guys know I have the half inch in my drawer here. Looking at their wrenches, they have a fixed or non ratcheting stubby wrench combination wrench they have the ratchet reversible ratchet ones that i've got that you guys have seen the video on if not i'll throw the card up here and then of course they have just the plain jane non-ratcheting um combination wrench so phenomenal and metric and sae coming on over here looks like they're offering you now a half inch 
naked breaker bar. No worries about the comfort grip not sliding into your toolbox. So that's pretty awesome. And they got the 3 8 comfort grip icon. You guys know I have this one already. But look, starting at $35.99, they've already adjusted the prices for you because they know that this is going to be a much better deal now that they got the newer ones out. Toolboxes. Let's see what's going on down here for the toolbox. Oh, they're going to be at SEMA. Rock and roll. I submitted my registration. I'm not seeing a price here. I wish they would have had a page that would have covered more in-depth details on this. I know it's almost September 30th, but I just didn't see it in today's catalog. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up. You know, we've seen a lot of this other stuff in the past. I did want to cover over some of the woodworking tools. I did want to cover over some of the things that I've had experience and purchased in the past. I did want to see what the icon uh, portion of the flyer was going to look like and how in-depth or involved they were going to get with it. Doesn't look like it got very uh, in-depth or involved, but they give you a brief synopsis or snapshot of what you can expect to see. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks as always for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them down in the comments and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers and deuces.